Hey, this is Cortland from Jigskins, and I'm here to show you the quick way to recover an old jig and an old popper. This one's been chewed up a little bit, so we're going to put a new skin on each one of these, and I've got some water boiling ready to go. I'm going to size these real quickly and get them set, and then I'll bring you over to the water and show you how this goes. So I've already picked the appropriate size jig skin for what I want to use, this popper fits into a size 6 so the first thing we do is we lay it on its belly we'll take a sharpie or some sort of marker we're gonna mark the length of this it's not gonna shrink much horizontally it does most of its shrinking in its circumference so I'm gonna mark it a little bit back here by the tail weight we're also gonna have to put a hole through the middle for the belly hardware and I'm going to trim the face off later um, after it's already shrunk. So with the marks made we just take the scissor cut the back end and for the belly hardware to come through what we do is we fold this over on the mark we made and the way that these uh, skins are made is that there's a double layer of material here on the belly. So we take a hole punch, you could do this with a sharp knife or an exacto or something, and we punch a half a hole, basically a little smiley face, in the uh, skin. I also like to run out some of the packaging ridges that are in these just to line things up perfectly, but it doesn't really matter if there's wrinkles or creases on it. You can have it, your dog can chew on it a little bit and it won't really matter. Just I'll crumple it up just to show you. I take it, take the plug, put it in. We're going to bring this belly hardware through. And that plug is ready to be shrunk. I'm going to stick it to the side. We'll do the jig one as well. And then we'll go over and we'll shrink both of them. So when it comes to shrinking a jig, this one's obviously been beat up a little bit. Most jigs do. doesn't matter how good the paint is on them. Once you get one chip in it, it's uh, pretty much done. So again, I've already picked the appropriate size skin, which is labeled here on the bottom. This is a two. With jigs, there's usually no body hardware to come through, so you're really just concerned about the length. You can adjust the length of it based on where you want the eyes to sit on the skin itself and you can always trim it later. What I like to do is I like to make sure that both of the ends are open so that it makes it easier to hook something on it to lower it into the water. All of these, uh, both jigs and plugs, doesn't matter what you cover, I like to drop them into the water horizontally. Um, so that's usually how I set things up. So again, we put the jig on here. I'll take a little bit off the back end, a little bit off the front end, these little scraps are good to uh, test your water to make sure that it's the right temperature. Boiling is perfect, but a little bit below boiling works as well. So a lot of times I'll just take these little scraps and uh, throw them into the pot just to make sure that they shrink right. So we take our uh, jig, open up the skin, and this, you always pick the smallest skin that you can to fit. You can rotate it to have the eyes back on the side of its head. You could put them upside down. You could cut two skins and have eyes at both ends. You can really do whatever you want with it. Again, you can run that crease out on the side if you want. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small piece of fishing line and I'm going to run it through both ends of the jig and I'm going to lower it into the water. So we have our jig covered and ready to go. We have our wrinkled up plug covered and ready to go and uh, got some water on the stove over here and we'll head over there and shrink them in just a second which I basically just loop two pieces of fishing line over it sometimes I do one and that way I can use a set of pliers and direct which way I want it in so that I can shrink it so let's do the jig first I'm going to shut the water off 
and grab it by its nose. Whatever part hits the water first is going to shrink the first, and it all happens pretty quickly. So I've got this set so that it shrinks eyeballs on both sides of its head. doesn't take long. There it is. Fully shrunk. I'm going to grab the popper now. These obviously they float so you're going to have to push it under water to get it to shrink fully. So I usually use a pair of split ring pliers or something that I can keep my hands safely away from the boiling water. And again, whatever hits first is going to uh, shrink the first, shrink first. So you can actually just drop it in the water. And it's done. Obviously you know what the shape of the popper looks like. You can see how quickly it can conform to it. Again, if something didn't quite go, just push it back under water and it's done. Now the popper, since we've left the face long, that's going to need to be trimmed. So what I do is I take a razor And I just stick it in the edge here. While the water's still hot, just stick that face back in for a split second and it'll fold up whatever edges were left. I left it a little bit long to cover the sash weight in the back of it, the tail weight rather. Uh, you can trim that off if you wanted to or not. You can see there's not a wrinkle. It's perfectly conformed to every portion of that lure. And uh, you've got two new plugs for about $2. That's how you use jig skins. Thanks for watching.